Harold looks like his safe word is Gogurt. <laughs> Women, I'm sorry I told you to uncover your drinks. That was a bad call by me. I didn't know they would be like that. Al Alan thinks getting healthy is pouring his 40 ounces into a Brita filter. Hey, Femi, if you're here, who's eating all the cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio? <laughs> Tell Dylan. Uh, Dylan obviously wants to be a black guy, but all he's managed to do is talk like the one from the Green Mile. <laughs> Harold was born after 9/11. Gilgert. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh man, whoa, that Who's is the racist like... one. <laughs> Sorry, we yeah. know. No, we picked it out. Yeah, one chick with the flannel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these are two of my favorite shit talkers. I'll look past the fact that they're brown. I ask you to do the same. It's gonna be seven jokes each. Have you decided who's going first? I'm going first. Yes. Gabriel's going first at seven jokes each. Everybody roast on three. One, two, three. Roast! All right, Alan, I need you to take off your hat for this one. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Yo, Alan is bald, black, and skinny. He looks like his own penis. <laughs> Holy fuck, you can really speak English? <laughs> I thought he only knew that sentence. White woman, that's all I thought he knew. I thought that the only words he knew were, I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> it's crazy, is this the same Mexican who sold me them stale ass tamales at Home Depot in Irving Park? <laughs> Yo, Alan is so black, whenever someone says to use his inside voice, he just gets way louder. <laughs> Gabe has the head of the DePaul Blue Demon. <laughs> Thick as fuck. Grande. Grande. <laughs> Yo, pedophiles love Alan because he's always yelling shit like, man, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny coming from a guy who's dressed like a gay biker who's in a BDSM and sells you shitty meth. Dude, that one sounded like he bought shitty math for someone. Yo, uh, after this, after this, I'm gonna be selling t-shirts outside, and Alan's gonna be selling candy bars for his high school basketball team. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. That's a good one. That's a good one. You'll be the worst Mexican leprechaun ever. You'll be the leprechaun who pops out a magical box of El Paso hard shell taco boxes. They're magically delicious, Holmes. Uh, he's just mad because my people also use the N-word. So. <laughs> that is true. That's some fucked up shit. You can't be just out here saying that. Am I right, Kenny? Neither are you. Yo, Al Alan thinks getting healthy is pouring his 40 ounces into a Brita filter. I ain't that black to be drinking 40 ounces. <laughs> It's the guy who put Goya on his wounds. <laughs> it's just funny to hear him say wounds. <laughs> Yo, oh, dude, oh my god. Dude, you guys might recognize Alan from holding his fat girlfriend from behind on the hips while she buys him a PlayStation 5. <laughs> At least my girlfriend is not a dude. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of fat, you are getting fat. Now when they ask you to hop the board, you'll be like, look at me. Dude, you got a really big forehead. Uh, <laughs> no, we already talked yeah, about oh, big sorry, heads. sorry. Uh, Last show? Al <laughs> Alan Ford, more like Alan can't afford child support. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you would know. You're Mexican. You got like 20 out there somewhere. And they're not in Yo. this country yet either. Al Yo, Alan wears his shoes during sex, so if she gets pregnant, he could run. 
At least I can run, fat ass. <laughs> Alan is so mad because my people take his jobs. <laughs> we don't even go to work. Anyway, anyway, Gabe wears lady frames and paints his fingernails. Now I understand what Venezuelan's transition in America means. All right, give it up for them, everybody. Holy Can shit. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. I don't know if we went backwards in race relations tonight <laughs> or forwards. There was part of that that was kind of wholesome. It was kind of adorable. I love that Xbox Live match. That was cool. Let's start it off with Stephanie. Uh, what did you think of the battle here? Oh, my God, you guys. Chill out. None of us are going to listen to either of your sound clouds. Okay, <laughs> relax. <laughs> Oh my god. No, but that was a, a fantastic first battle. That was so much fun to watch. The back and forth was incredible. I, and calling Gabe fat made, made me giggle. I don't know. It's just so, it's like, he's not, yeah, you puff, puffy, a uh, little puffy. Um, no, that was, uh, that was so fun. I, oh my god, I honestly had such a good time with both of you. Um, I think... Oh my God, this is hard. I, I honestly was enjoying it so much I forgot to uh, vote, um, that I had to vote. You guys, okay, I'm gonna vote. It's like she's scared of us. I, or something. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, if anybody, yeah. the one you offend is me, cause. It, no, you guys will both impregnate me. Uh, no, I, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so scared of you both. I, uh, <laughs> I feel like I've seen this video before. Damn. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Uh, <laughs> well, let's keep them on. Okay, I um okay. I'm gonna vote. Oh my god. Stephanie, I, vote for me and let's move no, on. No, I know. Gabe, it is for Gabe. It's for it, Gabe, but I, I Alan, you were so fucking close. Gabe dude. bullies his way into one vote. No, Give it up for Gabe. Gabe. Give it up for Gabe. He gets one vote. Stephanie, stop. For the love of God. <laughs> Leo, what did you think? Well, I uh, I agree. It was very close. And what a great battle to start the night. Give it up for these guys. Right? Yeah. And they look like they were having fun up there. You guys said a lot of references that I didn't get at all, but the crowd did. <laughs> so that's cool, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think you made him take off his hat for like some dumb penis joke that didn't really hit. Um, you know what? It was very close. And I liked your comeback, Alan, so I'm gonna give it to you. Alan gets a vote. It's contested. One for Gabe, one for Alan. Emily, deciding factor, what did you think? Well, yeah, I like that you got your T-shirt made for y'all to come up. My nigga. <laughs> That's good as hell. No, I, and Gabe, bro, your shoulders don't fit that yet. You big, but not that big. <laughs> I've been wanting to tell you that since he's in the green room. I ain't gonna lie. I've been waiting on that all night. Uh, I got my nose, and I don't lie about the shit, Gabe. You had good jokes, but I had comebacks, and I had you at three, and that's gonna put you over any joke. Not like any joke. And I had you at two good jokes, so that's tally of five. Alan Ford Jr. wins the battle. Give it up for him, everybody. Holy shit. Wow. Good job, man. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Okay, are they gone? Let's get some whites back up here, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies, you can uncover your drinks now, it's safe. <laughs> Let's get it going, these two young bucks, I love them dearly. Beautiful boys, give it up for the amazing Harold Patrick and Aaron Klein! <laughs> get them up here. Yes. Come on up here. You stole my outfit, how dare you? Okay. <laughs> I'm the one that runs the skate shop around here, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you decided who's going first? Uh, I'll go first. Aaron's going first. Seven joke seats. Everybody roast on three. One, two, three! <laughs> I'm surprised that we were able to get Harold to do this roast. He spends most of his time in his tree house where no adults are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. It's a sign there for a reason. Um, <laughs> Aaron, uh, Aaron, thank you so much for letting me out of your basement so I can be here. I uh, really appreciate that. 
Um, <laughs> Aaron, Aaron is like the bitchiest serial killer I've ever met. He hasn't, he hasn't killed anybody yet because he says he doesn't want to break a nail. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Harold used to work delivery for Zoomies. That's where he would come to your house and kickflip on your porch. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, not a lot of people know this, but when Aaron was in, when Aaron was in high school, um, the teacher used to write the equations on his forehead. And um, <laughs> you know, the only reason he even was in school is not for an education, just in case it ran out of whiteboard space. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you. Uh, Harold looks like he pulls his pants all the way down to piss on his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Really good. <laughs> Lucky gal. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Aaron, Aaron creeps me the fuck out. Uh, he only creeps me out because every time I see him, he's standing at the foot of my bed. <laughs> it's called a sleepover. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Harold told me that he likes big women, which compared to Harold is all of them. <laughs> That's fair, that's fair, <laughs> that's fair, dude, that's fair. Aaron, Aaron works out, he's a pretty fit guy, and I can't make fun of somebody for being healthy, but I can make fun of somebody for wearing a thong while he does squats. <laughs> no one wants to hit on you at the gym, dude, you look like a glazed donut, all right? <laughs> I get it, it was good. Uh, Harold is unemployed. But don't worry, he also owns a snake, so everything's gonna work out. I, um, Aaron and I, this is a crazy coincidence, we actually both own guns. Uh, but the reason I own a gun is just in case somebody breaks into my place. Aaron owns a gun just in case somebody escapes from his place. <laughs> <laughs> Harold looks like his safe word is gogurt. Mine is Danimal, so it's like a, <laughs> very similar. Oh, shit. <laughs> when, I, uh, when I wished upon a star, I, I wished to be a real boy. When Aaron wished upon a star, he wished for an under 18-year-old boy. <laughs> Looks like we both got our wish. Yeah. Um, Is there, they're no good after that. So that's, uh, Last joke? Uh, Harold was born after 9-11. Go, Gert. <laughs> no! This isn't even fun anymore. <laughs> you took all the fun out of it. Um, <laughs> Harold was born after 9-11, uh, which was lucky for Al-Qaeda, because they, killed a, they could have killed one of their 72 virgins. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Aaron, Aaron reminds me a lot of that lesbian that used to bully me in high school. Um, except she used to give me wet willies. Aaron got wet by this guy named Willie. Give it up for these two, everybody. Holy shit. Oh, my God. So funny. So funny. Great work. Oh, my God. That's awesome. You look like a tube of Gogurt, too, which is pretty... <laughs> Pretty good. That was awesome, man. What a fucking great battle. Let's start with Leo. What did you think about this probably gay porn? Well, that was a fun battle. I really liked, uh, I don't know, I Gogurt. That was great. And that was a great callback, Harold. I mean, you got a huge laugh on his joke, so uh, yeah. props to you, dude. That was awesome. Um, I don't know. I, I think Aaron had the slight edge, so I'm going to give it to Aaron. And Aaron gets a vote. Give it up for Aaron. Mm. Emily. Oh, bang, bang. I got a uh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I put down, I put down tallies. So for both of them, I have two tallies and a half. <laughs> equally. And I'm like, that's probably, you know, equally the women they fuck. Two and a half <laughs> women. Probably each other. <laughs> But I really did enjoy Harry's Gogurt. Like, you can't lie, that was funny. The whole fucking crowd was like, ah! So, Harry all day, baby. Okay, Harold with one. <laughs> Contested once again, final vote from Stephanie. Yes, I'm not scared of either of you, so I know exactly who I'm voting for. Um, uh, no, I like that <laughs> Harold's like the size of Aaron's butt plug. I like that. I. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. I, I okay. So I, I really was keeping track this time. Um, Her Harold was more consistent throughout. Aaron got two large pops with the the big w bigger women than Harold and the Gogurt, but then Harold won it back with calling the joke back. Gogurt, Harold, I'm giving it to you. Okay? Harold wins the battle. Give it up for him, man. Great job, guys. Holy shit. Women, I'm sorry I told you to uncover your drinks. That was a bad call by me. I didn't know they would be like that. I trusted them due to their skin color and that was wrong. I'm not racist anymore. You guys ready for your next battle? All right, man, these two, this is fun, man. Uh, we try to do like a debut every single time we, uh, we have a show. So this is the, de uh, the debut of somebody, so I want all the energy, okay? Give them a big fucking welcome, okay? You guys with me? <laughs> guys, give it up for the amazing Mike Dwyer and the debut of Jackson White, everybody! Give it up for him. <laughs> yes, good to see you guys. Excited who's going first? I'll go first, fuck that. Yeah. Mike is going first, five joke seats, everybody. One, two, three! Rose! Yeah, hello. Uh, Jackson White. This is tough. He's such a bland and boring guy. Yeah, and not many people have a last name that answers the question, what's your favorite bread, color, and people? <laughs> Mike's the kind of guy where if he wears like a fancy shirt, he just looks like he's about to be declared not the father on the Jerry Springer <laughs> show. Hell yeah. No, uh, 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 Jackson, he's actually uh, named after his dad's favorite president, Andrew Jackson. Yeah, uh, that's perfect, because uh, women call the path to his bedroom the Trail of Tears. <laughs> it was good. Mike kind of has a familiar face. Um, you might be wondering. It's because his celebrity lookalike is actually John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> and he doesn't kill people, but he is one of the most prolific drunk drivers in Chicago. So <laughs> give it time. I'm, I am from Des Plaines, you know? He, he's my dad, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's where, that was his stomping ground. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's such a pale, sickly looking man. <laughs> yeah. 
you know. Uh, but his robust health, despite the appearance he has full-blown AIDS, uh, yeah, has earned him the nickname Jackson White Blood Cells. <laughs> You're kind of in the Baconator Buyers Club yourself. <laughs> Mike's landlord, Herbert Diaz, is always threatening to evict him. Um, which would be really tragic, because that means the whole family of baby birds living in his pubes will have nowhere else to go. You know? Herb's chill. He doesn't care if I pay on time. No, Herb's cool. Uh, Herb's cool. He's a, Herb's chill. I got Herb in the palm of my hand. Uh, no, uh, is Jackson is kind of an odd first name, right? It's like a last name, you know? Uh, the only other Jackson I met is my sister's dog. Yeah, so if I'm keeping track, that's one who makes people smile and laugh uh, and one who does stand-up comedy. <laughs> I've been friends with, uh, <laughs> let's get in the second wave. <laughs> all right, all right. I've been friends with Mike for a couple of years now, and really the only reason I did it is because I want him to write me into his will. I just want to get my hands on those Simpsons DVDs and jars of piss, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I do have jars of piss, but you're not getting any DVDs, yeah. All right, uh, Last joke? <laughs> let's go to my mother. Uh, no, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jackson saw a bunch of guys who look exactly like him uh, buying drugs at a place called Dallas Buyers Club. Yeah, uh, ultimately he left a one-star Yelp review because they don't sell ketamine or black tar heroin. <laughs> Mike's one of those guys who, like, doesn't really drink water, like, ever. <laughs> but he is always wet when I see him. I feel like the only time he's hydrated is twice a month when he falls into the aquarium at Bass Pro Shops. Wow, give it up for them, everybody. That was awesome. Uh, great work. Great work. Good work, man. Second time on the show, first time ever doing the show. Give it up for him. That was great. Good job. Very funny. Very funny. Emily, what did you think about this auto, <laughs> these auto mechanics? Um, <laughs> it's, it's, similar it's hard to tell which one's not on meth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like meth, mouth, meth, attitude. I, I love it all. I'm from Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> Jackson, Mike, come on, brother. Uh, no, you really got me out with the one, you know, the one. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> but I thank Jackson for me. Hell yeah. Jackson for her, one vote for Jackson. On his debut. Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, you two. Good job for your second time and your first time. That's fucking awesome. Um, Mike, you look like what happens after getting pregnant from anal. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Mike, sorry. Like, that's a, I don't get that one. Yeah. Not, you're not, you, you you're the that. result of your mom getting pregnant from anal. Sorry. I, yeah, uh, you're right. I didn't word that correctly. A normal conception baby would have gotten that joke. Uh, <laughs> And Jackson, you look like you do anal. Uh, I, know. I uh, no, that was so good. I'm I'm so proud of the both of you. Um, I will, Mike. You had such good jokes, but but Jackson, you you knocked it out with Jerry Springer up top and Bass Pro at the bottom. So I'm, I'm giving it to Jackson. Bass Pro gives him the win. Give it up for Jackson. I do want final thoughts from Leah though. Uh, well, I mean, first of all, I can't get enough of two white guys calling each other bland and pale. Let's get. <laughs> get more of that. Mike, I can't figure out, like, what's going on with you? Like, are you, are you fat or are you tiny? Are you... 
Are you old or are you young? I don't know. I have 40. I have 40. That's pretty good, right? Uh, <laughs> is it good or is it bad? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I actually was going to give it to you, Mike. I thought you had one more yeah, hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mike with the vote. Give up for these two coming up here killing it. Great job, man. Oh, my God. Wow. The stage smells how it looks. Bad. Okay. Let's do it, man. We got more fucking bad. You still with us, guys? You were. Ah, oh, man. This one. This is the one, man. This one's gonna be weird, dude. We got, we got to throw a weird one in here. I love these two so much, guys. Give it up for the amazing Hannah Belmont and Femi. It really is Jerry Springer up here tonight. <laughs> Have you decided who's going first? Yeah, I'm going for us. Femi's going first. Seven joke seats, everybody. One, two, three! Uh, guys, give it up for Botox Bobby. <laughs> yeah, Hannah's boyfriend is gay. <laughs> he turned gay when he saw her naked. <laughs> he was like, ew. <laughs> I want to fuck Femi. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Keep it going for the autistic member of the Proud family, everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, Femi, if you're here, who's eating all the cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio? <laughs> Uh, the Jews? <laughs> we tag team them, we tag team them. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hannah is bisexual. Cause the rainbow reminds her of her discharge. <laughs> Hashtag rainbow discharge. Hell yeah. Femi, uh, Femi is actually super duper smart. He went to a really good school in Missouri. Uh, he went there because their mascot is the Miners, which is <laughs> coincidentally the women he's attracted to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so long, dear uh, white. Uh, Hannah's. <laughs> Hannah wants to go to Africa, or, or she calls it Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Keep it going for my co-star and get out. Uh, <laughs> Femi, Femi looks like if the Black Plague actually turned you black. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> Hannah has a very sexy mother. <laughs> yeah, she's somewhere here. Hannah's mother, where are you? She's over there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I literally want her to spit on me. <laughs> and then kick me and have me deported. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. Hannah? <laughs> that was what? <laughs> uh, so Hannah is a sexy mom, uh, which means she got her genes from her absent father. <laughs> Hell yeah. Femi is, like I mentioned, very smart. He actually wrote a book about his own solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, he was later sued for copyright for rewriting Mein Kampf. Yeah, the book is called The Jews Will Not Replace Us. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Cecilia, did you like it? <laughs> I would sign you a copy. Don't cheat on my mom in front of her. <laughs> right. Uh, Hannah's egg is consent. <laughs> Femi's ick is also consent. Uh, 
Femi yeah. looks like he'd rape someone via voodoo doll. <laughs> Hannah wants to have a destination wedding, so long the destination is a slave plant plantation. That's just because I want you there, Femi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having my friends with me. Um, Femi looks like if when Diddy sexually assaulted women, he maniacally laughed afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, free DD. <laughs> Last joke. Hannah, Hannah carries pepper spray around. Yeah, she uses it to disinfect her vagina. <laughs> Hell yeah. Keep it going for the mascot of Feed My Starving Children. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> Femi watches the show Love Island, but only because he thinks it's a documentary about Epstein's Island. <laughs> Give it up for these two, everybody. Uh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> that was so crazy. He was like, I want, I want Hannah's mom to spit in my mouth and beat me, come in my eyes and deport me. Anyway, moving on. Like, how can we move on at all from that? Damn, dude, that was hilarious. That was good. I'm not going to hit you there, this stuff. But um, <laughs> stuff in the way. Can't do that. Learn the hard way. Leah, what did you think of this? This was fun. <laughs> you guys look like you're both in a window display at an Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I feel like Femi is just here to fuck your mom, also. Like, that's literally the only reason he's here right now. I literally am. He's like, <laughs> she gave yeah, him. yeah, I'll write a few jokes, I guess. I'll wing it. Uh, but I, in all, you know, you were very funny, Femi. I liked your comebacks, but I think Hannah got you pretty ha solidly. Hannah with one vote. Get up for Hannah. Very nice. Emily. I, uh... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Potbelly is hiring. We are hiring, and this is like my crew all day, every day. This is what goes on, folks. We gotta keep both y'all because of diversity or whatever the fuck is going on. Uh, <laughs> and no, I ain't gonna lie, the Proud family off the rip, like, that took me the fuck out. I ain't, so I'm gonna vote. I don't even have any talents for any of y'all because you both were equally bad. But that one took uh, so I'm going to go Hannah, too. Okay, Hannah wins. Give it up for Hannah. Great work. Oh, oh my man. God. So Hannah, hateful tonight. Yeah, I know. Awesome. It's crazy. I, I don't know. Hannah, I, I'm so proud of you. That was so good. And Femi, I called the cops. So I... Um, that... <laughs> Femi. Oh, man. The suburbs are not going to want you back, Femi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was, I mean, yeah, what Emily said, the proud family off the rib was incredible. Cats, dogs, minors, uh, Hannah, you won my vote. Good job, girl. Give it up for these two. Wow, great job. Oh my God, dude. Dude. Guys, before we get to your headlining battle of the evening, I want you to give a round of applause for all the servers and the bartenders who have been taking care of you tonight. I really appreciate Zanies Rosemont letting us do this. It means a lot that you guys came out. I appreciate it. Uh, we got little cards there if you want to sign up for our email list to know when we're coming back here. Uh, and you can get discounted tickets, and that's how that works, and it's pretty cool. Go on our website. That's all the future shows we're doing. We're coming back here on the 29th, last Sunday of this month. We're going to be right back here if you want to see us again. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's about it. It's going to be a good final battle. Are you ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Guys, Friday night, a little more energy. Last show of the evening. Are you ready for your headlining battle of the evening? <laughs> battle, 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 battle. Guys, give it up for the amazing Courtney Albers and Dylan Mahler. Oh. Good to see you. Here we go.
Final battle. Why, who is going first? I will. She is going first. It's going to be seven jokes each. Are you still with us? Yeah! One, two, three! Rose! Hell yeah, guys. Get it for Dylan Mahler, guys. He almost didn't make it tonight, uh, you know, because he was... Uh, Excuse me? <laughs> trying to tell you something. <laughs> now, Dylan almost didn't make it tonight because uh, he couldn't stop listening to Lose Yourself by Eminem on repeat before the roast. Uh, do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad he's here, though. Comedy's opened up a lot of doors for Dylan, you know, to work security at, so I'm glad he's here. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Courtney, for making it here from the Bob's Burgers universe. We appreciate it. <laughs> Bob's Burgers looking ass. <laughs> you, if I can't have her, no one will look an ass. <laughs> Courtney looks like she suffers from OCD and BLM. That's <laughs> true. Like she loves black guys, but they remind her to lock that door. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Dylan, uh, I feel like Dylan dresses like a Build-A-Bear thug. <laughs> you know, like one of those stupid ass outfits. Where'd you get your hat from, Navy Pier? <laughs> this, guy looks, this guy looks like he coaches Little League Gambling. <laughs> from a gas station. Uh, Courtney looks like she listens to NPR. But upstairs, it's just radio the movie. <laughs> it's about a retarded. Okay. <laughs> one didn't work. Hell yeah. Mark that. <laughs> Dude, now I feel bad. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, Dylan. Uh, Dylan obviously wants to be a black guy, but all he's managed to do is talk like the one from the Green Mile. <laughs> You look like you look like uh, Martin Lawrence in the white remake of Bad Boys. Courtney <laughs> uh, loves reality tech TV, uh, Bachelorette, but if she was on a dating show, it'd have to be one lucky girl and twenty lucky, unlucky black guys. <laughs> Uh, this summer, don't miss ABC's The Shoddy. <laughs> Damn, dude, that would actually hurt a little bit. <laughs> uh, Dylan's got a cauliflower ear. Oh. It's not from wrestling, though. It's from um, him calling the suicide hotline too many times. <laughs> Depressed ass. Personality brought to you by Grandma's Medicine Cabinet. <laughs> well, I actually work for the Suicide Hollow. <laughs> oh. Sometimes they ask me if I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Courtney looks like the teacher who touched me. <laughs> Apparently there's no such thing as a sex ed tutor. <laughs> I didn't mean, know. Damn it, that's so good, dude. <laughs> Damn. I did find out that Dylan just got uh, two kittens recently, which is nice, good for him, he got two kittens. I feel like he plays with them like this. <laughs> Why kitty no move? <laughs> oh, 
Tá tua. Don't talk about my cats like that. <laughs> Courtney's dad lives in a van in Alaska, That's which true. is the farthest place you can drive from Illinois in this country. He wasn't worried about the weather or just anything to get away from Courtney's personality. <laughs> Yikes. You look like you're cosplaying someone who has one. <laughs> okay. Dylan is uh, the first AI-generated douchebag. <laughs> I feel like if he could uh, do it, he, you, I feel like uh, you're just one step away from a chin strap beard. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Running out of shit now. <laughs> Courtney looks like she hawked to it before it was cool. <laughs> Still swallows, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Last joke. Uh, Dylan is like, uh,. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Dylan's like Forrest Gump if uh, all that running led him to the Capitol on January 6th. Uh. <laughs> they say one man's trash. is <laughs> another man's treasure. With Courtney's past, she must be like 200 man's treasures. <laughs> Give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Wow. Very cool. I am going to have to take Dylan to see the rabbits later, but I didn't want it to end this way, but it must be done. Now, I don't want you to kill Courtney on that farm. Now, Emily, what did you think uh, about this uh, molasses race? I thought it was gonna be better than that. <laughs> Waiting all night for this. No, we had a, the school fucking teacher joke was hilarious as fuck. That's when I was really like, hell yeah, you know? <laughs> but then the way Courtney just had to keep looking over his shoulder to make sure he's telling his jokes right now. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, <laughs> maybe they are fucking, you know? <laughs> And her husband is my best friend, so I better be taking some more notes than this shit. But if you see my card, not like that, like I said, don't bullshit. I got three to two and three going to court all day. Okay, Courtney with one. Give it up for Courtney. Yes. Very good. Steph. Yes. Uh, Dylan, why are you buffering in real life? What is that? <laughs> what is that, Dylan? You had really good jokes, but I think the delivery kind of fell flat. I mean, Bob's Burgers was so funny up top. The BLM locked doors, that was a great fucking joke, okay? I, like, I don't know if anyone heard it, but, <laughs> but it, was, it was such a no, I'm not going to tell it. But uh, yeah, no, Courtney, great job. Courtney, you look like the mom who lets your kids drink in the home. And, and Dylan, you look like her kid that drinks. <laughs> Um, but of course I'm giving it to Courtney. Great job, Courtney. Courtney wins it. Give it up for Courtney. Yes. But I want final thoughts from Liam. Ah, uh, final thoughts. Uh, let's see. You are, you're very mild-mannered. Uh, I don't know. It's like you're, you're wearing what he sounds like, and he's wearing what you sound like. I don't even fucking know what that means. Dude, you did have a couple really great jokes in there, but I think Courtney won it, too, so. Courtney wins it, but give it up for both of these two. Get up here, being hilarious, amazing. Guys, that's been Rose Battle Chicago. How the fuck are we feeling, huh? Thank you so much for coming out, man. Hey, listen, if your friends wanted to come up but they missed it, this whole thing is recorded. We posted it on our Patreon four days after. So four days from now, this whole show is going to be available if you want to subscribe to that. Once again, give it up for your amazing panel, Stephanie Robertson. Leah K. Janian and Emily Ogle. If you like the comics, 
They really like that music. If you, if you liked any of the comics tonight, we posted it all on our Instagram. You can find them there and support them there. Guys, thank you so much, and have a great night. I've been Chris Greco. Have a good one. Bye.